Welcome to On Air with Cash. Our guest today is an actress, model. She has walked in New York Fashion Week for several designers, including Michael Lombard. She has worked with Cosmopolitan Fashion Week during New York Fashion Week. She is very passionate and educated on the topic of human trafficking awareness and cyberbullying. This fall, she will be starting college with a major in entrepreneurship and innovation with fashion and sustainability. Please welcome Kayla Stern. Thank you so much for having me. Kayla, it's a pleasure to have you on. You've already established yourself as a model. You've had a great career. You've been involved in some great campaigns, but you're very adamant about your education. Yes, yes. Education has always been very important to me. And even though I've been modeling, I've been very involved outside of school. Education is something that is very important to my parents. And so they would never let me stop school or even just do homeschool in order to model, which I realize everyone's situation is different. But for them, education education has always come first. So even though I was traveling, I was modeling, I was still sitting there on the floor in the corner of the makeup room doing my homework and studying because college was something that I had worked really hard for. And even though I was having those opportunities, I wasn't going to give up on that side. So I'm one of those people I can, I wake up at like 5am to work out. I still go to bed at 11. I'm just always going, going, working. So Yes, education is very important. And I think no matter what it is that you're doing outside of school, you should always make time for that. I think we had similar upbringings as well too. My parents were the same way. They were fine with me doing the acting and modeling when I was you know, a teenager, but you know, I still went to school. I got my degree, I went to college. And I really like that they did that because it really balanced me out. I do like, you know, especially with your generation, you all are very adamant about your education. You put that message out there. And I think that's a, a good example to set. Yes, I'm excited for college for sure, because I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to major in entrepreneurship and innovation with minors in sustainability and fashion. It is a lot, I know, but my end goal would be to start my own fashion brand, but it would be a sustainable fashion brand because I'm environmental concerns is something that I'm also interested in and a lot of the clothes that we make unfortunately are not sustainable so I would love the opportunity to try to create my own sustainable fashion brand in the future one day <laughs> oh my gosh uh, Kayla I'm just so impressed with your your career your choices your long-term business goals you've already established yourself as a model you're going to school in addition to traveling and your busy schedule modeling you're also a delegate for Miss Teen USA Florida USA Yes, it's been a really crazy journey. Pageantry wasn't something that I got introduced to until I was a sophomore in high school. I went into it not really knowing anything about it. I just picked out a random wardrobe. It's been a great experience overall because I feel like I've learned a lot about myself. You learn a lot of skills with interview, just stage presentation. And I do think it's a great program for girls to build self-confidence. And I think from the outside, pageantry has a little bit of a stigma around it they because you only see what's on stage you see these girls in pretty dresses walking around you don't see all the sweat and tears that go in behind the scenes which I didn't even learn about until I started my first pageant and the interview it's it's stressful it's 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 not easy as people might think it is and so if only people knew all the stuff I've done behind the scenes to prepare for this and I do have a lot of respect for all the, the girls who do pageants. And I'm hoping that I will get the title Miss Teen Florida USA. So I'll have the opportunity to promote more about human traffic awareness, get the Coolant Series curriculum by Rachel Thomas into schools, and go on to compete to represent Florida in Miss Teen USA. I know you're very passionate about uh, human trafficking awareness. Hi, everyone. For those of you who are either new to my page or have been following me for a while, my name is Kayla Stern. I'm 18 years old and a senior in high school. For those of you that didn't know, January is Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Human trafficking awareness is an issue that I hold really close to my heart, and I thought this would be a great time to share with you how I became passionate about the issue and ways where you can find out more information on how to protect yourself, your friends, and your family. Yeah, so my parents sponsored a curriculum called Ending the Game, which was written by educator and survivor Rachel Thomas while I was living in Atlanta at the time. I was in middle school and my mom began teaching the curriculum to survivors of trafficking. And I just started hearing about it and was wondering, you know, what is my mom doing? What is she getting involved in? And she started taking me to conferences. I had opportunities to meet survivors, meet Rachel. And I just realized how many teens are completely unaware of this issue. I have lived in California, Georgia, 
Florida now. So I've been all over and not one school that I've been to has had any discussion about trafficking within the schools. We talk about drug abuse and don't drink and drive. And this is the second fastest growing crime in the nation. And we have no, no conversation with our youth about it. So that's where I want to step in. And if I was selected to be Miss Teen Florida USA, my goal would be to help put curriculums into schools. And Rachel Thomas, she actually created a curriculum for teens over COVID. And when I heard about this, I knew I had to jump on the opportunity. And her and I have started promoting that. We actually presented it for the first time to a group of high school students at Elevate New York last week. And it was an amazing experience and especially hearing their feedback and hearing their experiences just makes me want to get involved more and share this curriculum with teens across the world. Wow. And, and I commend you for doing that. There's been a, a, a big discussion right now. And I mean, I started in the industry when I was very young as well, too. I remember being a teenager and there were, I've talked to other people who grew up, shared similar experiences that I did, whether it was being propositioned at a young age. A friend of mine uh, did a documentary on the subject a few years ago, and I do like that it's being addressed on television shows. They're really showing how grooming starts and how these scenarios play out. So really, I commend you for bringing awareness to this. Thank you. Yes. And Rachel Thomas is absolutely amazing. She attended Emory. And she was trafficked during her time there. And hearing her story was also something that really sparked my interest because I never thought it was something that could happen to me. And I'm so thankful that I have parents and that I have Rachel in my life to inform me on this. And I just want to share my knowledge with those who may not have someone in their life telling them that this can happen to you. Especially for me, uh, social media is such a huge thing right now. It takes over our whole world. There was actually a quote, you, you said that, you've had conflicting feelings about social media. It took you a long time to get comfortable sharing yourself online. But then, you know, as you're just saying, you know, our industry depends on it because it yes, you know, whether we're acting, we're modeling, we're promoting, we're promoting a brand. So it puts you out there, but there is a flip side to that. And I, I really commend you for addressing that. There are upsides if it's used in the proper way. Tomorrow, I actually have a job with American Eagle, which is one of the biggest opportunities I've had. So I'm really excited to be heading up to New York for that. Oh, congratulations. That's amazing. Yes. yes. They're doing and you've done so much with NY Fashion Week as well, too. I mean, you've been in their runways. Yes, I've walked in New York Fashion Week, actually Milan and London Fashion Week as well. Those were with Michael Lombard. And I love Fashion Week. And Michael Lombard's clothes are amazing. And he has crazy face gear and big boots and everything. It, it was really fun. But then from then on, that was actually in Los Angeles. And then from then on, I went to New York with him in Europe. I've uh, been involved in the LA ones because that's where I'm based. But um, no, I have so many friends in the fashion industry. They do New York. Colleagues of mine have done campaigns abroad. When I see like the photos in Mulan or Europe, I, I just think it would be fantastic. That's amazing. Yes. And for me, it's not even just about getting to model. It's just about getting to experience the culture. Traveling has always been something that I loved. It's probably one of my favorite things to do with my family. And so getting to go experience other cultures, especially with fashion, because that's something that I want to study in college. I love learning about fashion and other cultures. And I definitely plan to study abroad in college. I'd love to study in Milan. The fashion there is, oh, it's like nothing else. And I really love that opportunity. Amazing. Kayla, I am so proud of you. You keep up the great work. I can't thank you enough for your time today. Follow Kayla Stern on Instagram. Look for her in the feature film, The Mystery of Her, coming out later this year. You've already established yourself to what already is a great career, and it's only going to get better. I, I commend you, and I can't thank you enough for your time today. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and Kayla Stern today. You are on air with cash.